event planning. You know, one other thing that I'm sorry, I just have to say, stop posting your cash app. People don't want to hear that, but stop posting your cash app. My thing is, first of all, it's ghetto. I probably don't even want to give you money. And then my thing is, like, you saying, or you posting on your fly gift side, you know, not expected, but we would like, <laughs> we require it. Like, you want a gift. Stop saying that. Gifts are highly, highly encouraged. Baby, no. First off, if I want to give you a gift out of the kindness of my own heart, allow me to do that. Why are you basically making it a request? If you ain't got a gift in hand, you can't come. Huh? You can't come. And then, like, Damn, by the hater when I feel like it. Not today, yep. not today, no. not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get Hi, back to our channel. I'm Jay. I'm me. And this is the Jay and me experience. experience. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so you'll know when we post our next video. Next video. Oh, next, next video. video. What they looking for? Our next video. What they waiting on? Our, our next, next video. video. Summer 2022. It's summer hot girl summer. We FNL. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Right. Nick Free. <laughs> we outside. What is that? Outside twerking on the red light. Uh, at the red light, twerking on the headlights. At the red light, twerking on the headlights. Which we won't be doing that. But, you know, it is going into summer and it is going into. Pool parties, events, birthdays, birthdays kick kick barbecues, barbecues. Which you know it's Memorial Day today, and why ain't nobody barbecuing? Because you know what I seen something that said basically we are the adults now, so we suck. We're the ones. Yeah, we not having no barbecues. We worry about day. brunch. Um, Everything ain't brunch. I mean, I did go to a kickback pool party the other weekend. Now, oh yeah, you did. And barbecue. I actually went to my cousin had a little barbecue yesterday, but. I mean, the barbecue I had, okay, you did your thing. <laughs> so, I guess some adults are barbecue. Like, but my parents ain't barbecuing. They said it's your turn. <laughs> they know I ain't got no grill. Your time. They know at the apartment still don't allow all that. Uh, a barbecue. barbecue. Would y'all be down for the Jay and Meek experience? If we barbecue? had a kickback barbecue, because first off, it's going to be lit. And we Second off, it's going to be funny. And we can oh, sell our merch. Okay, anyway, we'll talk about that another time. We're gonna talk so, about that another tune time. in to future episodes to get the details on the JMIC Experience Kickback Barbecue because I really honestly think we could Ooh, do that so that easily. Huh? That's too far. We need to get Your birthday is in the summer. We need to get on that for birthday. But for her birthday, time. but no, honestly, because one thing about us when we used to live together, we used to have a little kickback and stuff all the time. Yes. And events all the time. We did. I also personally have had events. Jamika has had events. So, that's what we're talking about today is events. 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 And also, the audacity. The audacity. The audacity. Of people at events. So, <laughs> so let's, let's talk about it. Because like yeah, we said, it's it. summer and this is where everybody finna be having kickbacks. Everybody finna be having events. But I feel like people don't have the proper etiquette for certain events. Like for if you're going to have an event, let's just start off biggest day. You need money. You need money for the experience. <laughs> Money. My thing is, don't try to give money from other people to make your event. If you're thinking about an idea, have your money ready to supply what is needed for that event. And we're talking catering. Where's the place at? What is the liquor cost? All of that. Right. And you know, we'll talk about a wide range of events because events can look like anything from a house kickback to so a whole wedding. wedding. Yeah. But at, no matter what you have, in, you have to have money as the host of the event. Right. All the costs really fall on you. It's like now, this day and age, everybody is just worried about like, okay, I want to plan the event, but other people need to it's supply a pay. the event. It's a plot of event. Mm -hmm. Or y'all charging to get in certain events that it's like it's your birthday. It's your Why birthday. Am I paying 30? Why am I paying for your birthday? It's just like if you ain't got the nerve to ask for a gift on top of that. My thing exactly. I like this. I like that. I like lotions. I like body sprays. I like. I don't care what you like. <laughs> I like body. Sprays. I already paid my twenty dollars to get into your event. Like this is the club. This girl said I like body spray. I don't want to do that. My thing is. If it's your birthday, and nobody planned a surprise party for you, so you're planning your own event. Yeah. Have the money to supply yeah. and don't charge me to get into your event because you want me to come. You My want presence me to come. should be the yeah. gift yeah. at this point. You know what I'm saying? If you are charging people to get into your event, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and and we are speaking from experience again. The reason why we've been talking about this because we've had events. 
you know, some, I feel like all of them were late and successful. Yeah. But the most event, uh, recent event I planned was my boat party. I had an all white boat party. It was a party boat. I didn't charge nobody to get on my boat. That boat itself cost $1,400. I paid for it because it was my birthday. My thing is, if you want me to plan a surprise party for you, then that's when I'm occurring you know, all the costs because cost. I'm planning it. But if you're planning your own stuff, why are you charging people? Why are you charging people? My thing yeah. is, you having your event at the club. Okay, we going in the club. Okay, the station costs uh eighteen hundred. I need forty from everybody. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before too. Where like I had a section the, and I paid. Want the gift? But they want to charge me. For, okay, and now the section I kind of get. Everybody can throw in a few dollars for the section. But don't be posting your cash up and say, I also like body sprays. I also like. <laughs> That's no. your gift. That 20 I gave that you. That is your gift. gift. <laughs> so, yes, no. So, that's a good point. It starts with that. If you're thinking of having an event, like plan out, like write everything out. How much is everything going to cost? When I did my boat party, I looked up how much is the cost of the boat. I knew that was going to be the most. Right. Then, how much is the cost of the food? And, you know, how I did it is. The liquor, I knew that would cost a lot. So, the only thing I required was everybody bring a bottle. Yeah, which is smart. But which my is thing smart. is, with the club thing, you can only have, depending on what type of section you have, it, they have a limit. Oh, so, yeah. seven people in your section. So, you telling me you finna charge me 20 and then you already over your seven people that's already in your section. So, I have to pay to get in the club, too. So, I'm paying oh, to get in the club yeah. and then I have to pay you 20 for your section. And it is about I'm, 20 of us in the section. I'm not so I'm only getting two, three shots. And you know they're not only charging 20, they're charging 600. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like ha like she said, they have see, your money. They charge 600 to get in the club? No, I'm saying, but the sections are like 600. So, oh, so yeah, they're going to charge you more than just the 20. The sections start at 8. 8, 900. And that's thousand. the ones that's all the way down there where nobody's seen you on the dance floor. The ones where you want to be seen, that's 18. 1,500, start now. Yeah. And that's in Dallas, so please don't oh, fix your mouth to say it. And then my thing is, you done had a whole span of 365 days to plan your birthday, but now I got to pay. And that's but a you good ain't point. Money? That's a good point. You know your birthday coming up. You know your wedding coming up. You know your anniversary, whatever. Plan ahead because that way you don't feel like pressured for money. I feel like right. if you plan ahead, your event overall will be more successful if somebody backs out on right. you, like catering or DJs, things like that. You'll have back time to figure out a backup. Right. My thing is, at this point, we need to have on Nike shit that say, save your money. <laughs> save your money. It'll save you. It, some of y'all will save <laughs> Because, yeah, that's a good point. Like, in addition to needing money, you need to plan ahead. To me, event planning is a lot. I know right. people have full-blown businesses circled around event planning, and it's really hard to put on a successful event last minute. Right. It is. And that kind of ties into what we was going to say Um about like people now all of a sudden it's your party that came so quickly and you not really prepared and ready and you got an attitude at your whole event so now nobody now you back and things not going yeah, things wait. falling through catering and show <laughs> whatever that's why you want to plan ahead because right. at the end of the day no matter how well you plan an event you know things are going to happen mishaps right. are going to happen but if you at least plan ahead then you can prepare for those things exactly um and so that's just a part of, of good event planning etiquette too. start early i my birthday is in early. june i booked that boat party i'm in that boat party. the boat itself in january yeah you gonna have to book beforehand if you're trying to do extracurricular activities you're gonna have to book beforehand. Don't wait until June first. Her birthday June nineteenth. If she waiting June first, I'ma go ahead and plan June first. And you know how much we're, of we're a mess that was. We're not going to a black party. It exactly. looks like a backyard barbecue yeah. that we're gonna have for you. Yeah. Because be, baby, it's booked up. Summertime, everybody's trying to be out showing skin. And Everything. Tits. That's it. So yeah. And so that's another good point. Okay, so you planned ahead, right? You know, my birthday's in June. I want to have something in January. I start planning. I book my stuff. So then I start reaching out to my guests. Right. One thing that I don't personally like, and I don't know how everybody feels, but I don't like in those group iPhone texts about, hey, y'all, these the these are the, my event. But don't reply in the group. Just reply to me separate. Nobody my replies thing is to you if separate. You want me to reply separate, text me separate. <laughs> yes. Because one thing about it. Them group chats, I put them all on mute. And then now she's not getting all the details. And it's then, like, I'm putting it on mute because... Or I'm removing myself from the group because I don't want all that ding. Everybody hearting yeah. it and liking it and, and then you emphasizing. Ding, ding, ding. You and your <laughs> me one-on-one, -on -one. ding, ding, ding. They still I hate that. that. So I encourage everybody, there is an app called Hobnob, H-O-B-N-O-B. -O -B -N -O -B. 
It's a free app and it's for event planning. You can do group text through that, but nobody, like if Shamika replied to me, it was only gonna come to me. It'll never come to the full group. And so I know that that's, people probably like, I ain't gonna do all that, but you wonder why people are not showing up at your event because they have your group message on mute. So now they don't know you're requiring 40 to get in. Then you're requiring a bottle to get in because they're not looking yeah, at I'm it. That is thing. annoying. And then my thing is, also, if you're telling me not to reply in the group message, but you're sending details in the group message. <laughs> what do you expect? I'm definitely not going to come. Because, I mean, <laughs> I'm putting that on mute. So how do I know? You're replying. You're the one saying not to reply, but replying in the message with all the details. That's dumb. Yeah, yes, yeah, I uh -huh. agree. And then everybody just start, and then it gets dumb because people start replying. It's been a million, ay, ay, yeah. and it's like, okay. It's like I don't even know six eight two one two three <laughs> one four five six. I don't even know that person. Mute. Right. It's like, huh? So hobnob is a really great way if you are having a bigger event. Like my boat party was fifty people. I'm not finna do that to people. Right. Right. right and I knew, like, I had requirements, dress code, this and that, and I knew I was gonna be sending a lot of updates. So I used that app. Also, what's great about that app is after the event, people can post pictures from your event. Everybody can kind of remember and share things there, and you can post updates, and it comes just to that person's phone. Yeah. So, Shamika don't have to be burdened with 49 other people saying, hey, we finna be late. Right. Or also, and then another thing that comes with that group text and thing, now all of a sudden, people, okay, this this Ashley, hey. What's yes. This? I don't care. <laughs> Ashley, I don't know you. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> I get hard when she walks past me. I don't want to hear that. Because she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No, that is true. Yeah, it's like, why you said it? Join this your cousin, Ashley. Hey. Yeah, hey, girl. I, I said don't reply in the group. You talking about stuff that don't have to do with the party. Exactly. Girl, you know, I start my school tomorrow. And I do go ahead and graduate tomorrow. as well. I'm walking across the stage. Y'all start talking about y'all grannies and cousins. Like, that don't yeah, have nothing to do with the event. You don't know what No. So that's why the group message thing, I mean, it is annoying to text everybody individually. I know it's a convenience thing for the host, but you do have to consider other people's time and, and things like that. So, right. again, Hobnob is a great way. Well, I think yeah. another thing is start your shit on time. Start time. See, now my thing is, we were just talking about this just a while ago. The fact that us as, as a black community. We don't, we just like, we gonna be we black, we black. We have to tell you, okay, the event is there too. Okay, come, the event at 12, one. We got a lot about the Why start time for blacks about to the show start up. Time? And the thing is, the blacks done caught on to the start <laughs> time being a lot. So they're still coming at three. Because baby, I lied about my boat party starting at three, pulling off at three, baby. Why are we still at four, four o'clock waiting on folks? How did okay, you I'm coming, please. Well, I'm down there. Like, <laughs> Baby, the boat party is in Grapevine. You in Medbrook. You're not ready. It's a shame I got to sit and lie about what time shit start just so you can hopefully be on time. Like, no. Be on, as a guest, this is guest etiquette now. Be on time. Because my thing is, that's taken away from me. This is my special no, day. Yeah, so I'm now, ready to I'm get putting, started. I'm putting the, light, the spotlight on you because I'm like, okay, hey, where you at? Because we finna pull out. I'm catering to you. You need to be catering to me. Yeah, for real. And I think it depends on the event. Like, if it's a kickback, it starts to A, okay, you don't have to be the first one there. It's a kickback. It's a come and go type of thing. But a wedding or something like yeah. that. Like, you need to be on time. Or, like, yeah, well, I mean, your ball party, like, because it's a specific so time we have to pull going. off. Yeah. So, like, if it's specific, be on time. And I clearly communicated through Hopnob <laughs> that we was going to be pulling off on Hop time. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, no. like, yeah. I said we was going to be pulling off on time. So, you know, that's the thing. If somebody is reiterating, hey, the start time is this because we only have this amount planned. Or let's say they booked an event center for three hours or whatever. Yeah. You need to be considerate of that as the guest and as the host. Because sometimes yeah. the host don't be ready. The they don't even be at their own shit sometimes. First of all, exactly. I'm pulling up. I'm never, I don't know. Nobody that's here at this thing. I just <laughs> found out I know you a week ago from work. And now I'm coming. Where are you? Oh, girl, I'm at the in the kitchen, shit, it's okay. She gonna know you. No, your mom doesn't know me. This girl said I just found out I knew you a week ago from work. That's where I'm done. Like, yes, I if know. I don't barely know you, <laughs> I pop I up and it. you not there. Right. And then your cousin trying to, hey, what's little shawty? Shawty, she Where's yeah. your cousin? How you know Quita? I don't I know, know Quita. Quita. I don't know you. I don't know Quita. Where's I Quita? Quita? I don't know Sheikah. <laughs> I don't know Dika. <laughs> I don't know nobody. I don't know nobody. Like, yeah, so be on, <laughs> be on time as a host, even if your guests aren't on time, which hopefully they are, but if you're dealing with black, they probably aren't. Yeah, but you should at least have everything ready to go. DJ needs to be all yeah, set up. Because it's another thing I don't like. 
I come on time now. I'm in the setup crew. Yeah. How? Why I'm pulling out chairs. Girl, put the uh, pull up the table leg. Put, put that table together. Do you mind if you go ahead and blow some balloons for me? And why I'm setting up plates and in? chairs and fix like. Or what? I'm coming to y'all then. You still in my cooking? Why Girl, can you still uh, cut up the vegetables for the rest of it? Huh? huh? And you cut no vegetables for the rosé. I don't think I want none. What? What you putting in there? Oh, I just said that. You know that. Uh, I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, uh, uh. See, then you okay, know go ahead and cut up the carrots, the tomatoes, the uh, <laughs> celery for the. See, that'd be the problem with black events. If you show up too on time, you help and set yeah, up. Yeah, you have to. You're a part of the setup crew. Which is why blacks be late. And then, so it's just a double-edged sword. Like, think about that as a host. This is where the planning ahead comes into play. Be on time. Be like, on time. And have the stuff for your ready. own party. Don't be like, girl, do you think you can go? No, I don't think I can go. I think I can go home. I'm just showing up to party. I didn't come to help with the cleanup or the setup or none of that. Or speaking of that, too, also... Have things to do at your party. <laughs> We're all sitting over there. Quack, 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 crickets. <laughs> or, or if that's if it's a kickback. That's what I don't like because me and Shmiki used to host a lot of kickbacks at our apart at our apartment. And we will always have drinking games, music. You know, we always had something. Now I ain't saying you have to have eight to nine. It's laughter. Nine to ten. It's drinking games. We're not saying that, but just at least have, okay, I know we're going to play a couple of drinking games. I know we're going to dance. Whatever. Right. I hate when I come to a kickback, everybody's standing around. We looking around. We looking around. Okay, so we what's up going to Then you as the host had a nerd to ask me to hook up my phone? Hook up my phone and play my music. What, what do you have available? Have your playlist already thought out. I thought this was your party. This is your party. That is so romantic. Or you want us to be the party. Oh, I hate that when we come to stuff and they okay, like, hey, join join me me us. Trying to get on stage, start jokes. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not a comedian. Am I Monique and D.L. Euclid? I mean, at this point, just hilarious. <laughs> the dancey. Yeah, that, 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 because that has happened to us a lot. Well, like, what like, y'all think? Tell a joke. We just, huh? <laughs> we just showing up. We did not come to host. We did not come to be the performers. We did not come for that. My thing is tell a joke. <laughs> Doing them say, say something funny. Why did they be saying that to us? Say something funny. Am I Ha Ha Davis? Okay, well, what's your God name? Damn, am I Ha Ha Davis? I'm going to say your name because at this point, you're the joke. That should be what's funny. And there are so many good drinking games you can look up online. I know a lot of them. We used to do all type of little drinking games, car games. Right, car you games. can always throw it back with spades, dominoes, uno. No, spoons. Drunk uno, yes, yeah, spoons. What's the, that thing in a, uh, where we King's like King's Cup. Of? King's Cup is yeah. another great drinking game. And it, those are just fun things because a lot of times at a kickback, everybody doesn't know each other. So if you start your thing off with like a good drinking game that engages everybody or a game that engages everybody. So that's another good gym too. Yeah. Spades, only four people can play. Dominoes, we're looking at two to four that can play. So drinking games are good to start your kickback off because everybody's engaged. Everybody's kind of drinking right. and enjoying it. And then by the time the drinking game's over, everybody's just kind of doing their own Having thing. Having their own thing, but done warmed up all that. Yeah, done warmed up. Said, like you said, drinking games, like you said earlier, if my requirements are to take a shot when you enter, don't be up at my son. I, 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 I got to get up, boy, girl. I'm thing. allergic to that. No, you're not. <laughs> Yeah, Stop making your own rules at, at my shit. event. Yeah, that's a good point. That is such a good point because a lot of times in the text or in the Hobnob app, I'm going to say, hey, y'all, we taking shots. Because I said that from my book party. Every hour on the hour, we taking shots. You knew that was a requirement. Right, we're taking shots. So don't show up to my stuff. Uh-uh, girl. What is it, Patron? Uh-uh, uh -uh, girl. I'm a, uh -uh. You I'm knew a this was a requirement. This is my shit. So right. I guess you can turn around and hit it to your core. All right, give us to your core. Give us your core. Cause I give us to your core. <laughs> core. At this point, cause oh. yeah, I don't like that. Cause people be sorry. Uh, uh, uh -huh. And then it be what be really killing me is sometimes it don't be your homegirl, or homeboy that you invited. It, it be they plus one that no, they no, didn't no, ask you about. Uh, uh, I don't. Who are you? Why are you even here? Cause that's another one. Don't invite nobody that you didn't ask me about. Right. And then the person you invited, the first one in the line getting food. But you don't eat. You're not hungry. Your stomach hurts when I ask you to take a shot. But you're the first one. And Cheetos, chips, <laughs> and those burgers. And that's yes. another one. Huh? First off, this is guest etiquette now. Why are you? It's round one of food. Define, people say, hey, everybody, food available. Why are you stacking up your plate and making to-go place at the same time? Already. And where did you get foil from? Because I didn't bring them. They're through your cabinet. 
All in my shit. But uh, you, uh, you see, it's 50 people in here. Everybody got to get a plate. And you stacking your shit full of You're brisket, burger, and rotel. Like, <laughs> wings, like, all that. Like, but, and then my thing is, you're so quick to stack plates, but can't empty hand out. Empty hand out. Hmm? Let's talk about the empty handed though. Let's talk about the empty handed because baby, the first ones in line be the ones that ain't brought shit. I ain't brought shit. And if they did, the uh bottle half drank down. You know why I got your fridge. I ain't going to the store for them. I'ma just go I'm ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bottle looking like this. Look, I ain't even drunk. This what they yeah, coming to the kickback with. You see it ain't shit. In right. This, you know? I ain't finished. It's okay. I'ma just go ahead. I did bring a bottle girl. Personal. Hold up, let me see that. It's right. nothing at it. Or my thing is. The requirement is a bottle, but you don't want to bring a bottle, but you bring your own cup. I'm just in my own cup. I'm just, my own or just drink at my own place. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I, oh, I don't What's like in that there? Either. I want some of that. Yeah, when they try to bring their own flask and be to the side, but acting like, oh, I'm just going to drink my own. I'm going to drink my own. No. And then my thing is, you're sneaking to go fill your flask up. With my, that little bit of Tito's that you brought. So, yeah, don't come empty handed. That's just good guest etiquette. You come to somebody's barbecue or kickback. It ain't gonna hurt you to bring a little handle of uh, pre mixed margarita right. or, you know, a little bring bottle something. or something. Like you That's just showing good faith, too. you know, because yeah. you are eating free, experiencing free. You know, it's nothing that hurts you to spend $10, $12. Ain't you nobody know saying something. that you gotta get Kaze Azul 1942. You We're not saying that. Though. You need to get that. Kaze Azul. I do like when people bring that. You need to but. Get it. If you know, can not see so we can make that whole can we get stuff. <laughs> but if like, you're not I mean, getting all that, day, it's just like a respect factor. It's yeah. just like once again, the golden rule treat people how you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, and with saying that, it's just like basically, if I was coming to your shit, how would you and want me I to show up? I pulled up empty handed, you're gonna be mad. You're gonna be mad. So, why would you do that to mine? It's like yeah. people forget. How to come when it's somebody else's stuff, but then they want to go buy the book when it's their when stuff. When it's their stuff, yeah. No, that's baby, true. no. Or one other thing. If I got a dress code, I tell you oh, where I'm I got a dress code. I tell you about where I went, like her bow party. And I'm coming with vanilla, cream, I beige. said white, cocaine, white, like y'all's veneers. White. That's what I want. That's Why my bow party. Are you trying to be the center of oh, attention? attention. Or if it's all black, or if it's blah blah jeans, whatever people have. Girl, I just I, I, I ain't had none. I'm just running late. You been all about my party for a month. Yeah. You didn't have nothing. Especially if it's somebody's birthday, like do not do that. Go by the dress code. If you don't have it, just don't show up. Right. Because now you're making somebody else event about you. Right. That's... I didn't say cream off white. I didn't say yellow. I, said I didn't white. say Napoleon. <laughs> like wear white. Wear white. And so, yeah, if there's a dress code, no matter what it is, you need to abide by if you plan on attending that person's event, if it's all black, whatever. You know, don't be like, well, I'm going to wear basically red with a little black. No, that's not. Yeah, this, do you? This I mean, the red event. got, I mean, the shirt got a little Or like for your event. birthday, we wanted everybody in red. Like, right, she red. wanted everybody in red because she was going to be in white. She used to stand out. It's her birthday. I'm not going to show up. Let me just do red lips and No. This woman lips. said all red. red. Like, and if you don't have it, right. don't come. My thing is, don't try to make your accessories the color. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got red earrings. I got it red. It needs to be the outfit is the color. We're red. We're red, like she said. Red like she said. Red like she said. Red, Boy, red like the bread. Man, hold up your mama is the bed. Hey. Telling everybody. Got to come through and we about to lie to daddy. Hey. At the party. Do it real big. Wow. About to get on these niggas here. <laughs> Do right at the, right at the event. event. And I think the other thing that we didn't mention is if it is an event where kids can come, watch your kids. Watch, uh, your, watch your kids, especially if it's at somebody else. Like, I shouldn't be having to run behind your kids. Put that down. Put that crayon down. Stop. Get out of there. Now, Where is your mom? Where is your mom? Because now Where is your dad? Daycare. Yeah, yeah. If you go bring your kids, because it's certain events kids can't come to. Especially like a win. You need to be watching your kids. And keep that baby. Make sure that baby fed before it's time for me to say I do. Because I'm like, not. Oh, oh I be hating that. Baby's screaming loud. Because I'm like, 
because I done been to some weddings where that has happened. Oh, them babies be getting And now you look a mess escort now. We Everybody looking back. Right, everybody it's time for me to walk in the end. Yeah. My thing is you want to get all the way at the end of the pew. Now you got to walk out. Or you in the inside. You Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. <sighs> With your baby. You should have breastfed him before you showed up. You should have breastfed that baby. <laughs> I know it's the shortest on formula. You should have gave him melatonin. I was going you should have breastfed You should have gave the baby melatonin. <laughs> Something. Something. So, yes, if you're going to have kids, because kids are out of control, wild, is it hard to tame, whatever. You just need to be thinking, like, this isn't my event. I don't want my kids showing out. And sometimes you can't help what a toddler going to do. But right. just keep in mind, at least watch your kids. Watch your discipline kids. Discipline them. Like, I, me as the host, it shouldn't be my responsibility to say, daddy, you need to be in the room. Daddy, you need to be in the bounce house with the other kids. Daddy, get out grown folks' mouth. Right. Like, daddy, where's your mama? Daddy, go. Daddy. Get in the car. <laughs> So, I think a lot of our don'ts that we have hit, but right. it's the audacity. I think just to wrap it up, like, it's the audacity of the event planning. You know, one other thing that I'm sorry, I just have to say, stop posting your cash apps. People don't want to hear that, but stop posting your cash apps. Like, my thing is, first of all, it's ghetto. I probably don't even want to give you money. And then my thing is, like, you saying, or you posting on your fly gift sign. You know, not expected, but we would like, <laughs> require it. Like, you want a gift. Stop saying that. Gifts are highly, highly encouraged. Baby, no. First off, if I want to give you a gift out of the kindness of my own heart, allow me to do that. Why are you basically making it a request? If you ain't got a gift in hand. You can't come. Huh? You can't come. And then, like, your cash apps, like, I'm just tired of seeing that. If I want to, if I want to give you money... Then I will say, hey, girl, what's your cash up? What's your... First off, I use Zelle because the thing about cash up is they charge it. Right. You can't get my whole $20. You're going to get $19.50 because they charge them 50 cents for instant, you know, deposit. Yeah, oh, yeah, for instant. I was going to say they charge you to do it through for the But instant. if you're trying to put it in there instant. So that's another thing. Like, if anything, post your Zelle. But don't post your Zelle. That's all. Get up. They post Zelle. Well, they number. Just stop doing that. Just Let people genuinely Let people do what give, they give, do. Right. and you know, shower you with things for your event, your birthday, your wedding, whatever it may be. Right. Um, because trust me, the people who will genuinely give you something will ask, "Hey, girl, how can I bless you? How can I give you money? Yeah. Whatever." And, and money ain't all. I know money is a great give. Everybody needs money, but what if I want to get you like something more thoughtful and all that? Like price. you limited, <laughs> you limited me to just your cash app. But then, yeah, you do have people that's like, I mean, I do love body sprays. I do love candles. I do love. I don't care. Well, you can for yourself. If I'm really your friend, I already know what you like anyway, so I'm not gonna ask you. Right. Like, wait. My thing is just enjoy your event. You're fifty. We're posting your cash app. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't even know how to work that. <laughs> Stop it. I just cannot. Stop it. it. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, I think another thing we didn't mention, because we didn't mention most of the stuff we, we talked about, but another thing is, at my events, especially if it's me and Shamika, it's going to get wrapped up. It's going to get lit. It's going to get turned. Control yourself, because I'm not babysitting nobody grown. I'm not or babysitting not you. Don't come to my shit already drunk, falling over, pissy drunk, throwing up everywhere, mm -hmm. throwing mm -hmm. up all over my stuff. You all remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was acting like the Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At my event. I'm babysitting you. Ugh. Like, yeah. yeah no. That's another thing. You want it to be about you. Right. <laughs> and then another thing is, another thing, I'm going to cross my arms on this one. Make sure you got a way to and fro. Please have a way to and from my event. My thing is, don't pull up at the event. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? Did you try? Yeah, now you uh, need a ride home. Now you need this and that. No, this is, I can't accommodate you. I'm not Uber. I'm not Lyft. If you ain't got no car, like we said earlier, you, you ain't got, got no car, then we don't know what to tell you. Because my thing is now, if you come into the key bag, you done went past your level. Now, I'm agreeing to take you home. I got to talk you to the car. I got to do all this. Yeah, I got to no. do all that. No, somebody's getting left. Somebody's getting left. The only person that should be, if anything, getting babysat is the person whose birthday it is event. You know, let them have a good time. They shouldn't right. be having to worry about your safety. Because, again, that's making the event about you. Exactly. And I think that's the whole point of this episode is... We want to have fun at the events we plan, whether that be a wedding, a barbecue, an anniversary, a graduation party, or just a because kickback or whatever. We want to have fun. You need so, to have fun. Have things planned plan. out. Like, I mean, you shouldn't expect your guests to come to your party and be the party. Yeah. Like, huh? 
you should be the party. And I get everybody's personality isn't as loud and bold as ours. But, you know, that's why you have certain friends. Like, I know Jordan, my friend that can help. You know, let me ask her what fun games I can play but or whatever. But don't just not ask me about it. And then the day of your party, now I'm the event planner. Because yeah. at this point, on the invitations, you put in your cash out. Put mine. Put mine. Because I need it. Because I'm the reason why it's late. Yeah, no, for real. But I think that's a good point is that the point of the, especially going into summer, we want to have fun at these right. Whatever it is. So if you're the guest, don't try to make somebody else shit about you. It's not about you. It's not your birthday. It's not your wedding. You didn't graduate. It's right. not, you know, whatever. So the point is, we want to have fun. And I think if everybody comes with that agenda in mind, being mindful, being thoughtful, bring a bottle. Right. If you want to bring your homegirl, ask. You know, right. it's like, it's simple. It don't have to be that deep. You know, that type of thing. Oh, but how about the dress code? Come on time. Come on you know. time, exactly. And then on top of that, make sure if you bring in a plus one that they're on one accord of the rules and the regulations yes, of what yes. needs to be done. Make sure your plus one ain't being ratchet ghetto and trying to have an attitude. Or have an attitude, yeah, yeah. Make sure your plus one is fun. Fun. That's the point of this all. Fun. We want to have fun. Let's have fun. Let's it's have summer fun. 22. Let's have fun. Let's, Let's have, have fun. fun. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Oh, it's summer 22. Let's, let's have, have fun. fun. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Shake your buns. Shake your buns. <laughs> let's have fun. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. fun. So anyway, with that being said, we hope you guys have successful events all 2022. We basically talked about what not to do, so don't do none of that, and you'll have a successful and dope event. Hey, we'll catch y'all on our next video.